Another cheater stuffing weights in bass at the Sealy Big Bass Splash that was recently he held in Toledo Bend. That's what we're going to talk about right now. So I have to apologize right off the bat. I'm under the weather and my throat's a little sore. But if you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. If you're unaware of the Sealy Big Bass Splash, it's the largest amateur tournament in Texas, bass fishing tournament. It's also where the game wardens went and checked those boats that were coming in and out of the water over those two days. The Sealy Big Bass Splash has gone on for 40 plus years and has always stood for integrity on the water. When they have an issue, they solve that issue immediately and resolve it. They either take away that angler's weight, but they always try to do things proper. But when another angler is stuffing lead weights inside of bass, well, it just sucks. The angler was not named, but what happened was he has been arrested for a felony and fraud, but he brought up a bass during his weigh-in, and one of the officials that works at the Sealy Big Bass Splash noticed something wrong. And this was on the Toledo Bend Big Bass Splash just a few weeks ago. Now, when the angler weighed that fish in and, that, and it was noticed that there was something wrong, they immediately took actions and they didn't confiscate the fish, but they got the fish. And that fish was held till the game wardens came over and checked it. And they found that this angler stuffed lead weights down its throat to make it heavier. Now, if you remember, the walleye cheaters did it a few years ago or a couple of years ago, and they just had one thing after another. And now we're seeing bass fishermen do it too. And it brings to question what's going on. Is there a way to resolve this or not to make it happen? But when you have money come into fishing, or a tournament, there's going to be people that are trying to do things wrong. Not everybody is a good person. I can tell you in this industry, there's many people that just want to talk bad about everybody. But we cannot have people putting weights in fish and getting away with it. I honestly felt like the walleye cheaters got away light. And I think in doing so, it made people think, oh, this is all I'm going to get. And these anglers that are cheating are weighing the good from the bad. Can they get caught? Will they get caught? Is it worth the, the possibility of getting caught over the monetary value of winning something massive? Because in this case, the Sealy Big Bass Splash paid out a lot of money for heaviest fish. And I give a lot of credit to the Sealy Big Bass Splash workers and volunteers or the people that are helping there that they found this immediately and took the actions that second getting the fish, doing all the stuff that needed to happen. Now, at some point in time, hopefully we'll find out who this angler is. I do know he's been banned from all fishing tournaments on the Sealy Big Bass Splash. He also has a felony and fraud. But should there be more? Should we have this, when an angler goes to this extent to win, should, he, should we allow him to be an angler? Should we allow him to have a fishing license? Should we allow them to possibly be fishing in another tournament right now? Because we don't know who the name of this angler is. Hopefully it'll come out. But this just sucks. These are the things we're hearing more and more often in this industry. When we think everything's hunky-dory in the organizations, we're now seeing that the organizations might not be as hunky-dory as we think. And there's so much hatred towards MLF and forward-facing sonar. Do we need to take a step back and look inward and go, look, we need to make some drastic changes in this tournament fishing? And I'm not saying tournament fishing is bad at all, but we're seeing more and more people try to skirt that gray line, even though it's black and white, or cheat to get ahead. And it sucks and it hurts us. But what do we do? That's what I want to know. Should he get his license taken away forever in every state and that should, should not be allowed to, to fish? That's how I feel. I think if you're going to cheat and do something this bad, you shouldn't be allowed to fish anywhere, anytime. But I want to hear what you want to think. So comment below and tell me what you think. And remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'm sorry I'm all over the place with my throat. I apologize. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.